Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a card website with multiple pages for free. Let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. And I am logged into my card account, and I am in my dashboard. I don't have any websites, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and make our first website. And this, uh, if you're interested in creating a multi-page card website, I'll have that after we make a basic website, just so you know that, um, just so you know the basics of using card, because I wanna, I don't wanna just throw you right into it. So let's make a simple website first, and then let's make a multi-page website after that. Feel free to skip ahead if that's all you're interested in. Anyway, this is the templates that you have available. We're looking at all of them right now, and there are dozens and dozens of these templates. I'd say about half of them you have to pay for, as you can see, pro in the upper right hand corner, but the other half are free. And you know, you can look in through here for one that really resonates with you. Uh, but for me, for this first one that we're gonna be using, I'm gonna pick this one right up here that says Henry Chase. It's just gonna be a landing page for um, some social links for me, for my Tony Teaches Tech YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and select that. And uh, this brings you into the user interface where you can actually design and modify this template. So right off the bat, let's just click on the title here. We're going to change that from Henry to Tony Florida. Uh, we'll do Tony, Tony teaches tech to stay on brand. And that did wrap around to the second line, but it's really cool. Uh, uh, card is really cool, really easy to work with. So you can just bring the size of the text down a little bit. And if you don't like the size of the the, the fatness of the letter, the weight of the, the letters, you can change that, make it a little bit thinner, make it a little bit fatter. Um, you can pick a different font. I'm gonna stick with this because I actually like it. This kind of matches with my logo now to begin with. Anyway, let's go ahead and save that. Um, I'm gonna edit this text down here and just take note of what tab you're on. So this is the appearance tab. I'm gonna go back to the text tab going to select all of this and say, hi, I am Tony. I teach tech. Check out some of my links below. You know, something, something like that. You can put whatever you like. Um, and then we will, I think I will change the font for this. Let's pick something more like techie. A good techie font is Courier New. And I like that. I think I want to make it a little bit bigger, um, a little bit thicker. And I want to get rid of that spacing in between each line. So that, and I want to, I don't really like the fact that it's justified. I want it to be right aligned. So uh, I'm sorry, left aligned. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So I like that. I'm good with that. This space over here is for an image, so I'm gonna click on that and upload an image. Um, I'm gonna go on my desktop. I have a Tony Teaches Tech folder here in a headshot of me. Not the best one, but it'll do. I'm just gonna pick my head here, bring this in a little bit, so something like that, and we'll pick that. And yeah, that looks good. I, I always make sure you fill out your alt text. I'm gonna to say Tony Florida head, oops. Tony Florida head shot. Um, and if you did want to link this to a URL, you can do that here. Uh, so that looks good. I want to change some of these social links. Um, I don't have Twitter, so I'm going to get rid of that. I don't have Instagram for, for Tony Teaches Tech, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of Unsplash. For the email, I'll keep that. I will say mail to Tony at TonyTeaches.tech. And let's add another one. Let's add a YouTube channel. So let's down here, that'll pick the YouTube icon. And I can, I think I have, yep, I have my YouTube link over here. So copy that and paste it in here. So this is my link to my YouTube channel. Um, let's go ahead and add another one. Let's do one for my WordPress website. I think they have a WordPress in here. Yep, so there's the WordPress logo and this one would be https colon slash slash tony teaches dot tech and if you don't like that order and i don't like that order you can rearrange them so i'll put my youtube channel first up top here and then my wordpress website and then my email at the bottom 
So that looks good as far as this card is concerned. Um, let's change the actual page. So if you click on any of this outer space here, um, I want to use the the logo colors, my logo colors. So I went ahead and wrote those down over here earlier. So this is a gradient, right? So we're going to go from one of my logo colors, which is this, to another one, which is this. Oops, it's not that. This. Did I copy that wrong? Maybe I have the wrong color here. So that one, oh, it, I copied the same one. <laughs> so from here to there. Okay, so it's like a darker blue to a lighter blue. And um, you can do, it's really flexible. You can do a lot. So this is gonna have less of this color and more of the dark color and vice versa. So something like that looks okay. And you can change the angle, have the darker at the top, darker on the right coming in from 45 degree angle anywhere you really want it to. So I think I'm going to do darker at the bottom right hand corner and lighter in the upper left hand corner. So um, there's there's much more you can do than what we're doing because I want to make this not too, you know, design heavy, but you can change it to look like noisy and add these squares and all these other options. So uh, but we'll just keep it simple for now and do something like that. So you know, not, not my best piece of work, but it gives you an idea about how to use card. Let's go ahead and um, see what it looks like on a mobile phone. That looks good. Maybe we can adjust the chin a little bit, but you know, it gets the, the point across here. So back to a desktop view. When somebody views it, it's gonna play that animation. We'll look into animations in a little bit. Um, but for now, that's good enough for this first website. Let's go ahead and publish it. So the title of this is going to be Tony Teaches Tech Card. You know, call it whatever you like. And then the description, um, let's just say social links for Tony Teaches Tech. Now, this is a point where if you're okay with having a .card.co URL, then you're fine, you're gonna be able to use card for free, but if you wanna use your own custom domain name, that's when you're gonna to have to upgrade. I, I think the prices for card are super cheap, like you're paying $19 a year, I think, and that'll give you this ability um, to have a custom domain name. But for now, I'm just gonna use the free version. So tonyteachestech.card.co, and that's the link that I'll be able to share with other people. So I'm gonna publish that, and within a matter of seconds, I should have a website to show. So here we go, tonyteachestech.card.co. Let's view the site. And that's exactly what we created in the user interface in the previous um, steps. So that looks good. Uh, let's, let's get on out of this and go back to our dashboard. So we can do that um, right here. And now we have our first site in here. So. Like I promised, I wanna show you how to make a multiple page website. This, The one that we just created is just like a landing page. It's a page to share links on. Um, let's make it a little bit more complicated and have multiple pages. So let's make a new website, click on new site up here. And I think it is uh, just for the ease of this tutorial and on you as well, it's good to start with a sectioned uh, template, okay? And this is going to make it a whole lot easier for us to make our multi-page website because that's what each of these templates are about. You know, you have your about, your work, your contact over here, work, about, contact, same type of thing. So we're going to pick another free one. I think I like this one over here. And let's just do a demo real quick just to show you how this works. So this is the home page. Um, you can look at his work here. So that's going to take us to the work page. And you can see some pictures about an about section and a contact with uh, some more social links. So that's what we're gonna shoot for. Let me show you how this all works. So we'll go back, did that open in a new tab? Yeah, it did, so we can get out of there. Let's select this and now, same as before, we can just come in here and edit what we see. So kind of like that, hello at the very beginning. Um, this is a, this is not gonna be for Tony Teaches Tech, this is gonna be like a travel, a travel landing page. So I'll say, Hello, my name is Tony. Um, I think actually I already wrote this. No, 
I, I, I wrote some of these sections beforehand to save some time. Uh, let me just write something real quick here for the homepage. Check out my travels. Uh, you know, something simple. It could be, we could be more complicated than that, but for now that's good. Um, my work section, I'm gonna change this to travel, okay? And um, let me explain how this works. So you have these sections right here, and I don't think that's the terminology that they use. Uh, they use, instead of sections, they use uh, controls, okay? And so they have this control right here. This right now is named work, okay? I wanna change that to travel. And the linkage from that to the button down here for work is exactly that. So when we click on the, the buttons down here, we wanna find the work button. And instead of saying work, we wanna change that to travel. And we wanna change the link from hashtag work to hashtag travel. So that will hopefully give you an idea about how they link up. So we have the travel, uh, what was it called again? The travel control linked up to the button down here, the travel button via the hashtag travel link, the URL, okay? And that's something that's actually built into HTML if you're curious. That's how you link to a certain part in, an, in, a, in the same exact page. Um, you can add another section here. So let's add another section and that's just gonna uh, uh, bring another, and actually when I say section, I should have said button. We're gonna add another button. Let's say, um, uh, let's call this travel tips. So, like that. And let's make a link to another section in our page, which is gonna be hashtag travel dash tips, okay? And right now this is, if you click on this, this isn't gonna do anything. So we have to add another, I um, can't remember, a control. So let's let's uh, let's get rid of the, the contact section. Actually, let's keep the contact section. Let's just add after, after or before the about section, we'll add a, another control. And this is drag and drop as well. So up here, we'll put it above the about section. And instead of calling it section 05, we'll call it travel dash tips. Okay, hashtag travel tips. So now that button, travel tips, will take us to that section. And if we want to keep this in the right order, we have travel, travel tips, and then about. So let's go ahead and rearrange these buttons down here. So travel, travel tips, and then about. So we're all in the same order here. Um, I don't like how that goes on to the next line. So let's, let's see if we can change that. The width of these buttons, a little bit better. We're on one line, the height doesn't really matter. We can make them more square or more rounded, depending on your preference. Uh, what does the size do? That's the font size. So we wanna bring that down and I think bring the weight up to make it a little bit bigger. So that looks good. We're all on the same, the same row here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start editing some of these sections in here. I'm gonna change, um, we're gonna work on the travel section here. So I, this is where I did write some of this information in here. Uh, do, do, let's see. So this is, actually I have some, I'm gonna type this one. So check out some of my photos from around the world. Okay, and this is where we're gonna add um, into this gallery some pictures that we have. So. Let's upload some pictures, and I have another folder on my desktop that is called Tony Florida, and I have all of these folders, or all of these pictures. So I'm gonna upload our picture from Australia, and we can make this, you know, a nice square around me here. We'll accept that cropping, and we'll call this one Australia. Do the same thing for the next one, upload. We'll do India make it a nice square around me, same type of thing, except that we'll call this one India. Okay, and then I'm just gonna keep going through all of these, add my pictures so you don't have to watch me, we'll fast forward. Okay, and I'll do the last one here. I ran out of pictures and actually add one extra one here. You just have to simply click add to add another image to the gallery, same type of thing. Upload, we'll do the last one here, Vietnam. 
and we'll crop this guy right like that. That looks good. We'll accept, name it the appropriate name, V-I-E-T Vietnam. And we are good to go as far as the travel section is concerned. So, oops, I spelled that wrong. N-A-M. N-A-M. Good. Okay. So that's good. Let's say done for the travel section. So we have the home section here. Whoops, forgot to add a picture up here. Let's add a picture. Same type of thing. We'll upload. Um, I think that's up a level here. My headshot from my face, face all painted. Um, except that looks good for the home page. Home page good, travel page good, travel tips. Let's work on the travel tips section. So how do we add any elements in here? Well, there's a couple different ways. You can either take an existing element like this, whoops, like this, and you have this copy section down here so we can copy this directly and do the same type of thing. Drag and drop up top here and I'll rename this to travel tips. And then um, if we don't want to, if we have an element that we want to add that we can't copy, we can click the plus sign up here. And I want to add a, um, I just want to add a list. Just let's add a list of travel tips. And we'll say something like um, stay in hostels, not hotels. And these are like budget travel tips. And then take public transport. And then what's one more? Um, don't always eat out, you know, something like that. And uh, I can take this element and drag it on up here to the travel tips section. And there we go, that's now in here. Let's change some of the appearance of this. We'll make it, um, let's make it, well, it's, we wanna bullet it list, but we wanna change the text. Let's make it a white color white text, and I want the size to be a lot smaller, something like that. The weight, um, that looks good. I think I'm good with everything else. So here's our travel tips, just three tips for now, just for an example. My about section, moving right along, we'll get rid of that. We'll put my actual about text in here, and I did not copy that correctly, so copy again. We'll paste that in there. There's my about section and contact, uh, same type of thing. Uh, do I have anything? Yeah, I do. Let's copy and paste that in there. I love talking about travel, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And I was planning on putting all my travel links in here, but I'll wait until um, after this video because I don't want to waste any of your time. So same type of thing that we did in the beginning of the video. If you didn't see that, go ahead and back and watch that. But we can add our social links there. Let's go ahead and test this out. So on mobile, this is what it's gonna look like. Well, just to give you an example, it's not gonna exactly look like this, but um, back to the desktop. Let's go ahead and save this, give it a title. So I'm gonna call this Tony Travels. Description, Tony Travels card page. Something simple. And then the, tra uh, the link is going to be Tony Travels, or the domain name, I should say. Do we have that one available? Yes, we're good to go. All right, publish it. Let's see how this looks as far as a multiple page setup is concerned. Uh, just a few more seconds until this publishes and I think you guys will be impressed by how straightforward this is, how simple it is to create multiple pages once you understand that concept of linking from a button down below in the footer to up top in your individual sections. So this is Working, working away, 29%, 30%. We'll get there. <laughs> All right, 98, 98, 98. All right, there we go. So we have our domain name, tonytravels.card.co. Let's view the site. And there we go. So we have the home page here. If you click on the travel section, this will take us to my gallery with all of my images from around the world. My travel tips section, we have, you know, my three tips. I can give you more than that, but for now, that's okay. About section, just a quick blurb about, um, about me. And then the contact section, which we did a little bit of work on, but I can change up these social links after this tutorial. 
Guys, if you have any questions about creating multiple sections in your card website, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I have some other videos over here about how to create free websites without paying for hosting or anything like that. So check those out as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.